Now, I love education and I love educators, but it concerns me how many teachers out there are spending time trying to get Excel to work. And this example I have seen so many times in my work. If you have two sets of student grades, how do you find the difference between two student grades? You've got to convert those grades to numbers. We're going to learn how to do it today. If you can learn how to do it, you'll never have to hire somebody like me. Let's get into it. Okay, so we've got a typical setup here. We've got a list of students' names. Then we've got grades from the spring here in column C. And we've got grades from the summer here in column E. So we want to work out the difference between those two grades. Not easily done. Lots of people out there trying to do it. We've got to first convert the grade to a value. Convert the grade to a value. Now we're going to use a formula called VLOOKUP to do that. VLOOKUP is going to take a value, in this case our grade, look it up in a table and convert it to something else. At least that's what we're trying to do. So first we need to create a table separately. I've got this convert sheet in the file. We're just going to put our grades in here. A, B, C, uh, C, I'm struggling with the alphabet today. A, B, C, D, E, there we go. And then you want to assign a points value to each grade. So A, five points, B, three, C, two, E, and one. Now these points are important because Excel is going to use the points, the values, to find the difference. Excel needs numbers to find the difference. So with our table done, we're gonna take one more step here before we move on, we're just going to give this a named range. Now, it can be difficult referencing on diff things on different sheets in Excel. So we're going to give this a named range. You can see I've just selected the range there. Going to go to the top left corner here and uh, click, in the, uh, click in the little box. And I'm going to say uh, table grades. You can call it whatever you like table grades will do absolutely fine. Now you've got to remember to hit the enter key on the keyboard. Now, if I select the same range, I can see in the top left hand corner, it says table grade. So Excel understands we have a named range here. So this step is essential. With that done, let's get back to the grade sheet and we can think about putting this VLOOKUP formula in. So let's get started. Equals VLOOKUP. Excel is first asking for a lookup value. What value do we want to look up in the table? Well, that's going to be the grade. So I'm just using the keyboard shortcuts there, using the keyboard arrows, I've gone to cell C5. Then Excel is going to ask for the table array. So where's the table that we're going to do the looking up in? Well, this is easier for us because we've used our named range. So you've got to remember the name of the named range, type it in here, and we've got table grades here. I can just click on that. That's gone into the formula. And then the column index number. So this means in the table, what column do you want to return the value from? So in our table, we've got two columns. We want to return the value. That's in the second column. So we're going to put a number two here in column index number, a number two. Then finally, we're looking for exact match. Don't worry about this too much in this tutorial. There's other tu tutorials in the channel where I talk about this. We're just going to hit exact match today. And then hopefully we get our value coming through. And now we can just drag this formula down, or I'm going to use the keyboard shortcuts here, selected the range, shift and down key there, shift and the down arrow, and then control D is going to copy that down. And you can see all of our formula have been converted to values. Let's do a quick kind of manual check. B is four, D is two, E is one. So it looks reasonable. Then we want to repeat that formula, of course, repeat that formula in column F. How are we going to do that? Well, fairly straightforward because of the way we set things up. We can just say control C to copy and then control V. And then let's check the formula. If you select one of the cells, hit the F2 key, the F2 key on the Windows PC. That's going to tell us where the formula is looking. We can just check a few of the formulae and we can see that they are looking at the right cells. So that seems to be working. And again, let's just quickly check the values. A is five, C is three. So we've successfully converted those grades to values. So now we need to do a fairly simple piece of arithmetic to find out the difference between the grades. And we're just going to say equals uh, the column F. So here, F5 
minus uh, d2. So that's the value of the previous grade, of course. This is going to give us the difference between the grades. Again, I'm going to use Control D on the Windows PC to go down there. Or you could just uh, select the cell and drag down. Then all of a sudden in column G, we can see we've got our differences between the grades. So let's check student, student three has gone from an E to a C. We know that's two grades difference. That makes sense. Let's go down the bottom here. Student nine has gone from a D to an A. So that's a three grades difference. So that seems to make sense that we've got a number three here. And that's how you do it. Convert grades to values. I hope this is going to save you some time. I'll see you in another video on the channel.